What's up, party people of Clip Squad? You're here. Welcome to the first video of this channel. And so, if you're new here, which I bet most of you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know when I'll post. So you know when I'll post another video. So as you all know from probably from reading the channel description under the About tab. This channel is all about solar eclipses, so I'm going to dedicate this video to explaining in a nutshell about solar eclipses. So let's get on with this video. This is all about solar eclipses. So, there are three kinds of solar eclipses. There's a partial eclipse, has an annular eclipse, and a total eclipse. These next three slides will go into each of them in more detail. The first one is a partial eclipse. And there's one up in the corner. This one is pretty self-explanatory. It's where the moon only covers a part of the sun. It is the most common kind of eclipse. What do I mean by that? Well, whenever there's a solar eclipse, it is inevitable that somebody somewhere will see a partial eclipse, which leads me to my next point, which is it's the beginning and the end of a total or annular eclipse. What do I mean by that? Well, whenever you have a total or annular eclipse, the first, when the eclipse begins, you will see a, a partial eclipse, and when the is ending, you will also see a partial eclipse. The next kind of eclipse is an annular eclipse. There is one in the corner of your screen. It's when the moon is too small to completely cover the sun. The wind and this eclipse that is at some point. If, in, and when this eclipse is at its maximum point, the moon appears to have a ring around it. That's what gives this eclipse its nickname, the Ring of Fire. And it can only be seen in a narrow area known as the Path of Annuary. Anybody who is not in this path will only see a partial eclipse. The third kind of eclipse is a total solar eclipse. There's one in the upper right hand corner. This, this one is also pretty self explanatory. It is when the moon only completely covers the sun. It is the only time to see the sun corona or outer atmosphere. Did you know that the sun itself is actually brighter than? its atmosphere. So when the moon is covering the sun, there's no sunlight. So that's how you can see the corona. And like an annular eclipse, and like an annular eclipse, can only be seen in a narrow area known as path totality. And anybody who is not in this path will see a partial eclipse. Now on to some solar eclipse facts. A solar eclipse happens when the moon comes between Earth and the sun. It happens during a new moon. A new moon is when the lit side of the moon faces away from Earth. completely facing the sun. And
and the two objects stops in the sky allows the total eclipse to happen. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm sure you all, a lot of you know that the sun is actually 400 times bigger than the moon. So you may be thinking, now, why then aren't all of the eclipses we see annually? Well, the sun is actually 400 times farther than the moon. So, then that's how the sun appears to be the same size as the moon. Now we're on to the most important slide of this whole presentation, eclipse safety. And the number one rule of viewing eclipses is to never, ever look directly at the sun. If you do, your eyes will get damaged. The best way to view a partial or annular eclipse is to use the eclipse glasses like the ones in the in the upper left in the upper right hand corner of your screen. These are mine. So the way you use them is you look down when the way you use them. If you want to put them on, you look down, put them on, then look up, and when you want to take them off, look down first, and then take them off. Be sure before you juice, you check to make sure there are no scratches or holes that will allow sunlight to get to your eyes. You can do that by putting them on indoors, or by putting them on indoors. And looking around. If you can see, if you can't see anything, then they're good. But if you can see something, then don't use them. All right. You can view a total eclipse without glasses because sunlight is no longer reaching Earth. And when there's no sunlight reaching Earth, there's no solar radiation. This is why you should never look directly at the sun, because you will expose your eyes to harmful solar radiation, and too much exposure will cause blindness. You can purchase solar filters for your cameras to take pictures of a partial or annular eclipse. There is one in the upper right hand corner of your screen. They function like eclipse glasses in the sense that they let you see the sun. They function like eclipse glasses in the sense they let you only see the sun. And with that being said, have fun and be safe when viewing a solar eclipse. Alright. So, there you have it. That is all about solar eclipses and if you want to get some more information about solar eclipses then feel free to go to another search engine okay. and if and that's it for this video and if you haven't subscribed please feel free to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to know so you know when you'll, I'll be posting another Eclipse video. Alright. And if, and if you want to, I, so I will be vlogging Eclipses routinely on this channel. And I have locations picked out for each of the ones I will be vlogging. But if you would like to, but if, but you can also recommend locations for Eclipse for future eclipses, you can do so in the comments below, and I will go online and I will look in, and I will look and I will see if I can see your location, if I can, I will vlog it. Alright, that's it for me, and until the next eclipse, 
and I'll see you at the next clips. Bye everyone.